All praise you to you. How about Shami Awashai? But Shamra Kakwadash. Let me say that again. All praises to you. How about Shami Awashai? But Shamra Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalawam to the elect to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a video on how the prophets in the Bible wouldn't have been hot for this world, man. Right? And what I mean for that by that is that the prophets that are written in the Bible. The people in that the Bible considered as being good men and glorious men, this world would have disliked every single one of them, right? This current society that we're living right now, where people glory in themselves and in the want of all things, right? This society would have hated all of their guts, man, right? Shai wouldn't have been hot for this world. This world would have hated Shai's guts. Right, John chapter 15 and verse 18. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate of you. Right? The world would have hate this world right now, all the people in this society would hate you, Shai. Right? And if there was a situation where they could release you, Shai out of prison or release Andrew Tate, they'd release Andrew Tate. If there was a situation where they could release, where they could let go Elijah or release Young Fog, they'd release Young Fog, right? If there was a situation where they could have released Isaiah or released P. Diddy, they'd release P. Diddy, man. This society would have been against every single person that the Bible reverences. This society would have hated the people in the Bible's guts, man. The, people, the prophets of the Bible would, have not, would not have been hot for this world, man. This world would have despised them. John chapter 15 and verse 18. If you hate if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. So this world hated Yahweh Shai. Before it hated anyone that believes in him. So if you're when when you're walking around in your day-to-day -day life and you think the world hates you, it would have hated Yahweh Shai even more than it hated you. Because they would they can find faults in you to where they might actually have a reason to not like you. But when it came to Yahweh Shai, they couldn't find anything that he did wrong. And they hated him because he was doing good all the time. And he was making them realise how wicked they actually are. He was holding up a mirror to themselves to show them their lack and the distance that they are from perfection. Right? Verse 19. If you were of the world, the world would love you, would love his own. So if the world loves you and everyone's always happy to see you all the time, what well, that means... That there's something not right about you and that you're exactly the same as them. But if the world don't like you, then that's a good thing. You're in good company. Because the world wouldn't have liked you, how shy. It wouldn't have loved you, how shy. It wouldn't have loved King David. Right? It wouldn't have loved any of the prophets that were righteous that I mentioned in the Bible. Right? It would have hated them. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. So we ain't supposed to be no... No glory, getting no glory in this place, man. It's not, it wouldn't, it would just, if you're of the elect anyway, it won't go that way. John, first John chapter 2 and verse 16. In fact, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So, if the world loves you, of course you're going to love it back, for the most part. But if the world hates you, then you're almost being forced into a situation to where you'll be like, well, okay, you don't like me, I don't like you neither. And that's why it's a good thing if the world don't like it. Because then you will naturally dislike it back. It's a good thing. But if you start wishing that the world did love you, well, then you're going to start trimming your ways to seek love. And then the world will start loving you. It will start loving you then. Because now you're just like it, man. You're like them. You're like them. If any man loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So in order to be of the world, you have to have the lust of the flesh to the highest degree, the lust of the eyes to the highest degree, the pride of life to the highest degree. So if you want to be a high value man in this world, you've got to wear a blazer, a button up shirt with the top two buttons missing, the top two buttons undone, right? You've got to wear jack ups with the espadrilles and your ankles shining, showing out. You know what I mean? With no socks on, with your foot rubbing all up in the middle, in the inside of the shoe, right? Or if you're a woman, 
you gotta damn near get cosmetic surgery in order for people to think that you're anything around here. You gotta wear yoga pants with a cloth damn near inside you. Right? You gotta be a harlot as a woman in order to have female friends for the most part because they don't want you making them feel guilty for all the hoeing that they're doing. So they're gonna try and defile you and make you be a harlot too. If you break up with your boyfriend, your your female friends are gonna tell you that you should go and just sleep with the first guy that likes you. Or the first guy that you like. Let me say it that way. Or that you find handsome or really that they find handsome. And they're trying to live vicariously through you some of the time, man. Or try and trying to defile you so that you can be part of the harlot congregation. And so that they don't have to feel guilty about all the things that they've done. Because now they know that you're in the same company as they are. These are the things that women do, man. And even some of these women's moms make their daughters be like that. It's quite disgusting. But that's what you have to be like if you love the world. Verse 17, and the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. So all the people that are in the scriptures that would have been hated by this world, their, their memory still lives on though. We still read about them. We still read about them, man, but they, they, they've got honour among men when, they, when you read about them. Because they fought against what everybody else was thinking of the time and they were shown to be right. Noah was another man. This world wouldn't have liked Noah. Vocab Malone would not have liked Noah. Let's just be clear about that. Vocab Malone would not have liked Noah. He would have been bunning Noah out, man. He would have been mocking Noah. He would have been making meme videos about Noah saying, man, this crazy guy believes that rain's going to come from the sky. Just like how Volcab Malone's running his mouth now, talking, laughing about how we believe that UFOs are going to come to the earth. We do believe that. We believe that. But Volcab Malone would have laughed at Noah, believing that it's going to rain. He would have said, this guy's an absolute idiot. He believes that it's going to rain. He believes that he's going to throw tanks. You know? That's what, they, that's what Volcab Malone says about us. We believe we're going to throw tanks. Doesn't it say in the Bible that Yahweh split the sea? And made people be able to walk through the bottom of the floor. So throwing a tank is nothing. Didn't Yahweh Shai feed the 5,000? Like throwing a tank is nothing at all. That's small. That's a small thing, man. Look at all the things that you read about what King David did. King David was able to grab a bear, grab a lion and rent it like a kid. Like a little like a little cow. So why wouldn't a man be able to throw a tank? I think that throwing a tank's easier than being able to wrestle with a lion and kill the lion, personally, or being able to do the same thing to a bear. I think those are two very hard tasks. But a guy like Volcab Malone, he only really believes in earthly things, man. And in fact, he don't even really believe in certain earthly things. Because he doesn't even believe that the virgin birth is not real. And I'm going to end the lesson there, man. This world, the prophets in the Bible would not have been hot for this world, man. Right? All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makar Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the, to the nation of Israel. Shalom.